It's June 25th, 2008, and Perry Logan is tired of having his vote stolen. Twenty fifth, two thousand eight. Thank you for watching. Yeah, and unfortunately, I just don't know how many more times I can stand to have my vote stolen. Hey, you might feel the same way. We're tired of having our vote stolen. What's so funny about democracy? Mr. Logan is asking the musical question, what's so funny about democracy? Yeah, what's so funny? Uh, what's wrong with just letting the voters decide? Uh, you may or may not know what I'm talking about. Well, of course, the old news is that the Republicans kind of hacked their way into the White House. but. We're less worried about it now because you see that very act of theft, that very act of treason, to which I hold all Republicans responsible. I want you to know nothing has changed. I, Perry Logan, regard all Republicans as traitors. Hey guys, you stole two successive presidential elections and boy did you fumble the ball. Yeah, you kind of fumbled uh, the ball, and so I'm not quite so worried about that theft, okay? That's like the old news. The problem is, once again, the voters of the United States have been deprived of their favored candidate. Oh, no! Well, what I'm talking about is very, very simply put, is that the uh, Barack Obama people, the bad and evil, bad, Barack, bad, bad, Obama bad, Obama bad. You need to know from the outset that Obama bad. Now I wanna hear you say it, Obama bad. Obama bad, Obama bad, Obama bad, Obama bad. There you go. Obama bad, and I'm pretty sure that the guy engages in a lot of crooked politics. I'm just going to give it to you straight. We had our votes stolen again. <laughs> hey, historical note. Listen. listen. Psst, psst, psst. Historical, historical note. note. Historical historical note. note. Oh, Barack Obama will be the first candidate in U.S. history not to have received most of the votes. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. That horrible, a terrible stench that you hear, my friends, is something rotten in the state of Denmark, i.e. Obama's people stole the bloody nomination from the people's choice, Hillary Clinton. Yeah! This is the Buddha. Buddha. This is the This is the Barack Obama people are stole the nomination from the voters' choice, Hillary Clinton. Thank you, Glenn, for back. 
backing me up. It's really true. I believe so, okay? Okay, I believe that they hustled, they uh, kind of, turns out the caucuses, the Democratic caucuses are highly undemocratic. And I have, uh, I have friends. I, I really do have friends who went to the Texas caucuses and they pretty much thought they were being hustled. <laughs> really does look like the caucuses were hustled. Uh, to give Barack, Barack his uh, apparently strong start, he got a strong start. You see, there was big money behind him. There might even have been Republican money behind Obama. Why would there be Republican money behind Obama, I ask of you? Would there be money behind Obama? Well, because he's such a terribly poor candidate. He's such a terribly weak candidate, you see. You could tell uh, when he was, uh, he was uh, going up against Hillary that when they got out on the hustings, you heard me, my friends, uh, when they got out on the hustings and were talking to the people of America, when Hillary and Obama uh, got out on the hustings, uh, and talk to the people of America. Guess who won? Hillary! I guess who won? Hillary! Hillary! I said, I guess who won? Hillary! Hillary! I said, I guess who won? Hillary! 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 Well, Hillary was beating Obama on the hustings. Despite what people who hate Hillary say, most people like Hillary. Do you understand? Let's try this again. And this time, I'm going to try to get you to focus. Now, please, would you please focus, my friend? People who hate Hillary don't realize most people like Hillary. That's simple enough. Ah! People who like Hillary, okay, I'll start over. People who hate Hillary, uh, there's a small group of people who hate Hillary. Uh, they are dogs. They are pig dogs. They are disgusting pig dogs, the vermin of the earth, worse than the horrible vermin that crawl underneath the thighs of a rotten log. Ah, people who hate the Clintons are the scum of the earth. Ah, people who hate the Clintons are the scum of the earth. I'll stop singing. I'll stop singing if you listen up, baby. And they have a delusion. That's right, my friends. People who hate the Clintons are not only the scum of the earth. They're like dogs. They're like disgusting pig dogs. And one of the things they have is a terrible delusion. You see, they hate Hillary, and they think everybody hates Hillary. Well, that's part of what makes them weak. But reality proves otherwise out on the hustings, my friend. Oh, when the politicians were meeting with the people, Hillary got stronger and stronger, and Barack got weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. And weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. Barack got weaker and weaker and weaker. Do you hear me? Well, the truth is pretty clear that Hillary was the one who would have beaten McCain. Barack has no chance. Barack has a dog's chance. Barack has a pig's chance. Barack has an elephant's chance. Barack has a loon's chance. Loons. Barack has no chance. 